In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a 3D background effect to your Prezi's. And, you know, you can customize and add your own 3D background effect to these templates that Prezi offers, but I'd like to show you how to do it on a, a blank Prezi. So I'll click Start Blank Prezi. And the next thing you need to do is go up to Themes and look down toward the bottom of that pop-up and find where it says Customize Current Theme. You're presented with some options, including this 3D background upload option. I'll go ahead and click that, and it lets me choose an image that's on my computer as uh, my 3D background. Typically, you get a little warning saying that the image is very large. With 3D backgrounds, it really helps for these images to be large. In, in fact, you're encouraged to have them be at least 3,000 in width. I'll click Keep Original, and then Done. And if all you want is to have an image in the background that has a 3D style effect to it, at this point we're done. Notice that as I pan and zoom, it looks as if that scene is off in the distance and that this is a 3D world that I'm looking into. Okay, just based on how it looks when it pans and zooms. So you could just stop there. But there are some other things that you can do to make your 3D effect more realistic, more cool. And you can do that, again, by going to Themes, Customize Current Theme. This time, I want to click on the Advanced button. And notice that I have 3D background of options. And I can click Edit to upload a second image and a third image. So I'll do that. I'll click Upload, choose another image that kind of makes sense with the first one. I'll keep the original size of the image, then upload a third image. Keep original, and done, and done again. So now you'll see that as I zoom in, the image changes. This creates a very cool effect for the viewer. Now all I have to do is add frames to my Prezi and make sure that these frames that I add utilize the different layers that I've added to my Prezi. So for example, for my next frame, I could click and draw on the screen a frame that is large enough that when it is added to my path, it remains on my first background image. For my second frame, I, I'm going to zoom in and create it on top of the second 3D image. And then I could zoom in and add yet another frame, this time one that is on the third 3D image. Now without adding any text or any content like that to my Prezi, let's look at the, the, the effect that I've created here. I'll click back on my first frame and start the presentation. I'll allow for full screen. And as we zoom in, watch what happens to the background it provides a 3D style effect and that you're traveling off into the distance. I love these 3D options in Prezi and think that they add a lot of visual satisfaction to the Prezi's that I make.